What are the things that impact your emotions? This is part two of the book Master Your Emotions and today I'm going to be listing to you the things that impact your emotions. Let's get into it. Number one is the impact of sleep on your mood. The quality of sleep and how much you get affects your emotional state. In fact, sleep doesn't just affect your emotions. Sleep deprivation also increases risk of mortality. And sleep deprivation also influences a person's ability to enjoy positive experiences. And so now that we know that not sleeping enough is a bad thing, let me share with you some tips the author shares on how to be able to maximize your sleep and improve your sleep quality. The first is to make sure your room is pitch black. He says many studies have indicated that you are able to get more sleep or you tend to be able to sleep better when your room is dark and so if your bedroom isn't pitch black what can you do you can either use a sleep mask you can use a black curtain so that anytime your room is very dark and you are sleeping because the the daylight or the sun rays isn't coming in so you are able to get quality sleep another point is to avoid using electronic devices in the night I'm smiling because I'm so guilty of this. I use my phone till I'm just about to fall to sleep. But he's saying if you want to improve your sleep, um, you have to avoid using electronic devices. And this includes your smartphones, your TV, you know, and the likes. And even if you have to use, he says you should use glasses. You should wear glasses that protect your eyes from it. Or these days, most of the phones have dark mode and um, night mode. And so you can change your phone screen into night mode so that your eyes are in sync with the color of your phone but to the best advice try as much as possible even a few hours to bed just to leave your phone or your tv somewhere maybe pick a book to read or something the third is to relax your mind you know most of the time when you're about to sleep that's when you have crazy ideas in your head so many ideas start running and your mind just cannot rest for you to be able to sleep and so one of them is to get a book as i've been preaching to get a book to start reading to help you fall asleep faster just don't get a book that you'll be too excited to stay awake till 3 a.m yes i'm also guilty of this but to be able to relax your mind just get a book or maybe even some cool music and you'll be able to relax and you can get a better quality sleep which will help improve your mood and your emotions another is to avoid drinking too much water before you go to bed i mean maybe after two hours before you go to bed don't drink a lot of water because if you have to wake up to go to the washroom and come back and all of that it will disrupt your sleep pattern and so if you want to enjoy quality sleep don't drink too much water when you have to wake up in the night to use the washroom or even he's also suggesting that you should have a sleep routine where you are able to go to bed the same time and wake up the same time your body will be in sync with that and anytime it's time for you to go to bed when you just go to bed you're falling asleep when it's time for you to wake up you have already rested enough and you will be able to wake up with quality mood and i mean positive energy and you can go about your day being happy and achieving the things you want to achieve the second point is to use your body to change your mood and so the author says that you can actually change the way you feel by just changing your body posture or even your facial expression if you decide to start um, um, smiling, maybe your, your, your mood will just change and you become a happy person, you know. So this is where the fact that fake it till you make it actually should be put to use. You are sad and you just start smiling, your mood will change. It's the same way if you start changing your body, I mean your mood in a different way, you might easily just also fall into depression. So use your body anytime you think you are feeling sad, just find something that will make you smile or laugh and your mood will change and you have a better mood. The third point is also to use your thoughts to influence your emotions. Your thoughts define who you are and create your reality. Have you heard the scripture, as a man thinketh in his heart, so you see, yes, you are a product of your thoughts, the things you think about. And so focus on thinking of the things you want and not the things you don't want. Studies indicate that your subconscious cannot be able to distinguish between real and fake experiences. And so with the use of visualization, you can visualize the experiences you want to have. And so the details of those visualizations will give you the reality of what you expect so if you 
visualize or you start thinking happy thoughts and gratitude thoughts and joyful thoughts that is what your reality will be and you would actually be happy and be grateful and be joyful and so use your thoughts use your thoughts to 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 manage your emotions for us who likes reading especially when you see yourself reading um novels you you start imagining things what will happen sometimes you are happy sometimes you chuckle because of visualization or even your imagination and so if you can visualize yourself being happy and visualize happy thoughts you can get that into your reality and change your mood and change your emotions the next point is using your words to influence your emotions and so to enhance your confidence you have to replace words that I mean, portray self-doubt to whether displays confidence. And so you should avoid words like could, would, maybe, perhaps, you know, if everything, you know, those kind of words. But, and so you should replace them with words like I absolutely can. I definitely will be able to do this, this and that. And your know, positive words, that enhances your confidence. And so as you use those words, you are also influencing your mood because if you fill your mind to the ability that you will be able to do the things you can be able to do the things that you set your mind to, then your mood is your mood is improved because you have the confidence that you'll be able to achieve those things. That's why positive affirmations are very important who you are you know if you know self-awareness who you are so when you wake up in the morning i am fearfully and wonderfully made i am i am i am a masterpiece i was created with purpose you know those kind of words so that you know that you don't just aren't existing and maybe when you have self-doubt you go back to to the word you know I am faithfully and wonderfully made. I am this. I am that. I am the righteousness of this. I am. I was made with purpose. I'm not a mistake that I live here. Positive affirmation, words of affirmation. It will influence your mood. You change your mood, and you become confident and happy. Another important discussion is how your environment affects your emotions. Your environment can affect the way you feel, and by environment, I mean everything around you can affect you in one way or the other. And so. If even social media who are the people you follow how do they make you feel you know sometimes you go on Instagram and come back and you don't feel enough like somebody's posting that they are getting married today somebody is posting that they are flying to another country for vacation today another person is posting that they are going this and this and you are just sitting in the house I mean being miserable right so it makes you feel a certain way and so how to be able to curate your environment to be what you want can influence your happiness and so what kind of people do you hang around with? What kind of TV shows do you watch? How do they make you feel afterwards? Sometimes it's even relatives that will drag you down and you know you feel certain ways. And so how to be able to manage your environment in such a way that it doesn't always affect you negatively so that you have bad emotions is very important. Sometimes it's even your work environment. Your desk is it cluttered? Is your room cluttered? It affects how you think, how you become productive, how you, it can even be demotivating. And so your environment affects your mood. So learn how to manage your environment, especially social media. This is one thing I'm always talking about. I'm very careful on who to follow and all of that because what is the purpose of just going somewhere and coming back and feeling like you are not enough and all those things? So curate your environment to the best of the way you want to feel the next point i want us to discuss is how music affects your mood you know right this point shouldn't even be explained there are certain songs that when you start singing them immediately it's depressing you become sad you start crying and not here and there are also certain songs that become joyful you start singing them and you start dancing and jumping around and being excited and so be able to select music you know keep trying music that uplifts your spirit music that doesn't make you feel worthless and depressed and sad and heartbroken why would you push yourself through that and so select the kind of music you think would impact your emotions will make you feel happy will make you feel joyful will make you feel inspirational will make you feel grateful yes so this video i've shared with you the list of things that impacts your emotions which of them are you going to start working on first is it your sleep is it your music is it your environment is it your words you know and all these things are under your control thank you so much for watching i'll be bringing you part three and part four on how to master your emotions kindly subscribe to the channel smash the like button check other videos of mine which will help you to be productive how to manage your money and i'll see you later bye